Hey, what's going on guys? It's Behavior here again for another trailer reaction and this one is for Birth of the Dragon. You know, talking about Bruce Lee, one of the most famous martial artists that the world has ever known. And key words there, I said the most famous, I did not say the best martial artist in the whole world. That would be insane. Not hating on Bruce Lee and I'll talk about that a little bit later, but you know, one of the most famous and I'm a diehard martial arts fan uh, not as much now as I was growing up but I have a whole selection a collection downstairs of just like a DVD blu-ray section of martial arts movies I love martial arts you know it, it, it's it, it's a uh, holds a special place in my heart right now um, I was in love with Bruce Lee coming up too uh, but as I got older uh, you know I still like the guy still respect the guy but you know well, I, I won't touch on that. But anyway, let's just get to this trailer real quick. It's called Birth of the Dragon. I'm trying to keep my expectations low because when it comes to martial arts movies, they're really only as good as the director or the fight choreographer. So well, let's see. Put on these headphones. Um, stop listening to me talk. But you can watch me watch the trailer. Here we go. It's green. Looks serious. Hey! You boys done playing? <laughs> oh, Blumhouse is doing this. Okay. One, two, one, two, this is Kung Fu. We're not training for the Olympics. We're training for the street. Action! Put the mannerisms down. Okay. Well, I'm Jack Man. He's leaving the Shaolin Temple to check out Kung Fu in America. People in Chinatown don't like that I teach whites. Shaolin sent Wong Jack Man to spy on me. He may be the only person in this world who can tear down everything and have been working so hard to build up. Sooner or later, gonna have to fight him. What does Sifu Lee teach you? He teaches us to kick ass. Kick ass? Your technique is impressive. <laughs> but it has one limitation. What? You. <laughs> I'm the future. You're the past. You're irrelevant, Wong. Fight me. I will accept your challenge. Raised up from the ashes, never doubt us now. A new face for this next generation. No rules. No whole spot. No limits. You guys kill each other. Now you begin to exceed your limits. What limits? <laughs> Never show you my one-inch punch, Tony? Hmm. This summer. You know, I could have sworn this trailer, like not this particular trailer, but like a trailer for this film before it came out like a while ago. I mean, I think this is going to be like a straight to DVD or something. I, I doubt that this is going to be in uh, theaters. But, you know, they may have been having this on the shelf for the longest time. Uh, the guy that's playing Bruce Lee, his name is Philip Ng. Ning. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, the only other film that I know he's been a part of is House of Fury, which I have right here on DVD. I got this back in like 2006, 2007 from a um what was it our anime store where was it at that i got this i forgot i think it was an at well it was an anime store somewhere in texas but i have that here and the only thing i remember about this movie pretty for the most part is that it wasn't good at all um you know yeah i just had to you know i was just in the store one day and i was like okay this looks cool and i just kind of wanted to buy it and you know i ended up being very disappointed but the trailer right here, it seems okay. Uh, it was one part kind of towards the beginning that really did um, 
turn me off. Well, I don't want to say turn me off, but, you know, raise an eyebrow. What? I forgot what part it was that quick. But realistically, this movie said that it's inspired by true events. Okay. Now, most true story films aren't 100% true. We all know that. But this already seems like they are taking things way to the left, you know, farther than they actually should. And when I'm even looking at some of the fighting, I'm like, come on, man. I mean, like, if you're going to have Shaolin monks coming down, then I just say, like, if you study the, the, if you study the ancient art, it's just a lot of this in this trailer right here just does not make any sense or whatever. I don't imagine a real, like, a real monk coming down and ch that just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, like in at the start of this video that, you know, I said that Bruce Lee is the most famous martial artist, you know, uh, in the world, but not the best. That does not mean that I am hating on his skills. He can kick my ass, you know, and I'm not saying that the Bruce Lee wasn't good. He was an amazing martial artist. I mean, the dude was so cold that he could, when he meditated, he can hear the grass grow. And, you know, yes, all that stuff is real. It's just not, you know, that popular in America. And people kind of had him. Well, if I haven't heard it before, it must be false, you know, tube of stuff. But uh, ancient monk that's coming over here, they're not, and, and Bruce Lee, they wouldn't even remotely be on the same level. It, it wouldn't even be a contest. I, I mean, unless they kind of sent some student monk or something and didn't want to reveal their elders. It just really doesn't add up to me at all. But then again, this is just a movie and they're trying to make money. This is not some historical documentary or anything like that. So, you know, I when I do go see it or if it's released at home video, I do know to keep my expectations low. I'm not going to rip it to shreds unless they are trying to pretend or you know portray something that is just completely false but i mean this just kind of seems like a fun movie you know that you know you probably shouldn't take too seriously um uh, but yeah you know not hating on bruce lee because i know somebody in the compliments like well you know he he created his own martial art well yes he did create his own martial art and that is an incredible feat i didn't do it he did it that's amazing but there's like over 1,500 martial arts in the world. A, a, a martial art style was, you know, all of them was created by somebody, you know. So, you know, there's a lot of people that created their own style. You know, let's not just single, you know, this man out uh, or whatever. It seems like I'm being very negative and I'm not. Uh, but I, 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 I do get a little sensitive, though, when it comes to martial arts because I do take it seriously. But anyway, guys, that's just my opinion of the trailer. What did you think? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me a thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get all the content that I have to provide. We got D23 coming out this weekend and Comic-Con coming out next weekend. So it's going to go down with all the reviews and reactions. And you want to be able to subscribe so you can get all the content. And as well, go ahead and click that little bell so that you can be notified. Also, guys, I want to go see that Black Panther uh, movie that comes out February 16th of 2018 next year. I want to go to that red carpet premiere because I love Black Panther. I love Marvel. I love comic books. I'm a black guy, and that movie is coming out in Black History Month. It's just like an epic dream come true for me, and I really want to go. Is it a long shot? Yeah, but hey, I'm going for it. So you can help me to get there by sharing this video 1,000 times. Also, go to my website, bookmark it, check me out there, and also look me up on social media. And guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash reaction for Birth of a Dragon. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.